Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. In this hard times, please stay safe and maintain social distancing to stop this virus from spreading. Today in this exciting tutorial, we will be learning about how to change your voice to someone else, and we will also learn how to create that movie distortion voice effect in Premiere Pro. This tutorial will have some insights and tricks about Premiere Pro, so be sure to check it without skipping. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new project. I will name it as audio voice change. Click OK. Now we will import our audio file onto our sequence panel to create a new sequence. Let's play it. Oh, way before. In fact, I, that almost, like, that was, that was like a touchy thing. Mm. Here we have this person talking. We will change his voice to someone that can't be identified. Oh, way before. In fact, I, that almost, like, that was, that was like a touchy thing. Mm. This type of voice change are usually done on media documentaries or if someone want to stay anonymous. It's a simple method and it's super easy. Go to effects panel and type in pitch shifter. Take this pitch shifter under audio effects and place it on our audio layer. Now go to effects control panel. Here we have our pitch shifter applied. Let's play it and see if it changed anything in our audio. Oh, way before. In fact, I, that almost, like, that was, that was like a touchy thing. Hmm. As you see, nothing is changed. We will now change the voice. Click on this edit option. Here we have our pitch shifter settings with a lot of inbuilt presets. We have semitones, scents precision and pitch settings. I will explain it one by one. Semitones is the one that changes the voice entirely. If you want a voice that is deep and should be untraceable, then just bring the semitones to minus five. Let's play it and see the magic. Oh, way before. In fact, I, that almost like that was, that was like a touchy thing. Hmm. There. We changed his voice completely and it's super deep. Oh, way before. In fact, I, that almost like that was, that was like a touchy thing. Hmm. That sounds great. You can hear some frequency interference during the speech. Now this is where the sense shifter comes in. Bring the sense to minus 50. Now play it again. Oh, way before. In fact, I, that almost like that was, that was like a touchy thing. Hmm. Now that sounds perfect. We now removed that frequency interference. You can adjust the sense to get a clear audio. If the semitones are negative then adjust the sense to that same negative value. If it's positive then adjust it to that positive value to get the unwanted frequency removed. Here we have the precision. As it name suggest. The higher precision means the more clear audio we will have. I'll set the precision to high. Now play it again. Oh, way before. In fact, I, that almost like that was, that was like a touchy thing. Hmm. That sounds super clear. You can decrease the semitones more to get more deeper voice. Oh, way before. In fact, I, that almost like that was, that was like a touchy thing. Now if you want a voice that can be used for funny videos, just increase the semitones to 5. Oh, way before. In fact, I, that almost, like that was, that was like a touchy thing. Mm. Now increase the sense to match the semitones to remove the unwanted frequency. If you don't want to change the splicing frequency and overlapping in the pitch settings manually, just click on this default checkbox settings. Oh, way before. In fact, I, that almost like that was, that was like a touchy thing. Hmm. 
Now we know how to change the voice and the effects of pitch shifter. You can just go and select these presets. They're all nothing just a settings that we just created on our own. It's still helpful if you are in a hurry. You can select these presets. We can add some distortion to this audio to make it more of a movie effect. Go to effects panel and type in distortion. Take it and place it on our audio layer. Go to effects control panel. In the distortion, click on the edit option. Here we have two graphs, one for positive and one for negative. Go to positive, increase the decibel on the highlights and decrease it on the shadows. Now let's play it and hear how it sounds. Oh, way before. In fact, I, that almost like that was, that was like a touchy thing. Mm. There, we now have that effect that used in movies for hackers and aliens. Just bring the midtones of the negative a little. This will give a little detail to the audio. Play it again. Oh, way before. In fact, I, that almost like that was, that was like a touchy thing. Mm. Now we know how to create a movie voice effects in Premiere Pro. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Your support is what gives me the strength to make more amazing tutorials like this. Please keep supporting me and I will work more harder. We are finally at the end of our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can always download all my project files on Patreon. Link is in the description. I will keep posting more amazing tutorials like this. Please look forward to it. If you have any doubt feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.